like you, 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 you ask about like you ask you know you, like you, you can't over advocate for your kids you simply can't well sometimes whether it's a, uh, a male coach you know and a single mom and he's throwing some Boucheron or some uh, Creed Cologne he get them it's like you've kind of been in the know and I think that's something other people can take from you as far as the information you're giving you're not just happenstance and like you say it's been since age five you've been on this and I mean with all due respect to what you've been doing man you've been out here coaching from on the west coast you know coaching young people you know uh Paolo and those guys you've been around this so that gives a lot of information so we talked about uh where he's going and where that uh blue or what we call it light blue we can't call, call it carolina blue right you know no no, no. I, 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 I'm not familiar with that school it's San, it's San Diego it's Torero blue yeah Torero blue Torero Torero blue I got it well I appreciate it Torero's that. a bullfighter I did not know that until he committed love it yeah I love it I love yeah. it so with that um let's talk about the coach he's going to be playing for and you getting the opportunity for this next year starting November 13th when practice starts to be able to be a dad no more strategy it's like the strategy part is kind of done you get to kind of sit and cheer and I have to uh, come out and run on the court and pull you back to, you know when you feel real good at the end of the game yeah well I mean I, I, you know, I don't think that stuff's going to change we've been, we've been we've been committed for a while and you know I, I, I got to give Chaz a lot of credit um, he had a big AAU spring he played really well and he played really well against some really high ranked kids enough to change it up huh and some people got in his ear and and he didn't listen to it. Um, and quite frankly, uh, our AAU season didn't start out super well. I remember that. We talked about that. Um, a lot of and and all that kind of I had other places for him to go play. Uh -huh. And he wouldn't leave. He wouldn't leave. Um, he was like, give me, four guy, give me four good. guys. I mean, <laughs> we were at dinner with me, him, and his mom. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I sat down and said, I have a place for you in L.A. I have a place for you in New York. And you're going to one of those spots. Um, our team's falling apart. Like, like you're going. And his response was, always polite, like, hey, Dad, like, I appreciate what you've done for me. Give me four guys, I'm going to win. Um, and well, how do you respond to that? You well, shit, what are you going to do? Um, well, you could have uh, So we went to 27. I, 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 like, You're a barrister. You could have worked some of your legal, uh, legal abilities. I thought, that's cute. Okay. Like, like I push you as far as I can push you. Um, um, uh, you know, they, they essentially go run the table in the Adidas gauntlet. Uh, you know, qualify for 3 SS. Be wow. playing at the biggest, you know, on the biggest stage, uh -huh. um, and uh, um, like I flinched, he didn't. And, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's well, kind of a. Uh, you gave him what he needed uh, early on. Yeah. He so you know, you got to be you know, proud of him. I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I mean, Madeline's 11, my daughter. So when she gives me things back to me, you can't do nothing but respect it. But you know, you talk about this cross country travel and kind of being on his own in the eyes of the world. He's a man. Like you've done all that you got to do, man. Um, I've asked Steve Lavin to put me on the staff. I haven't heard back from him yet. That didn't work? Yeah. That didn't work out? Well, it's too early, man. You got a great thing. Look, I'm enjoying being out here, and I appreciate you for keeping me a part of what's going on. Not only am I a fan, I'm able to kind of be up close and watch it. And I always appreciate our relationship, and um, I'm just so happy for him. And it's just amazing the, term, the turmoil and all this stuff, and then you get to this point where it's almost like, do you forget it? Or you just say, hey, we at the next level right now. I mean, I don't think we forget it because it's still, like, we still have a season left um, and you know I got a kid who likes to win he didn't need that last AAU season I asked him like do you care if he plays nope he cared if he played um, you know dragging himself up and down the court you know with four or five other guys um, uh, you know taking charges and falling like he cared if he played yeah so through injury and all he, stuff. Um, uh, you know this season is not a hey let's just go enjoy it I mean um, you, you know through all the changes in high school and college athletics that have happened and I think for the most part it's positive for kids. Uh -huh. I love that. Difficult but positive. Uh -huh. um, Difficult I, sti positive. I still have a kid who at the end of the day wants to win. Um, and, uh, uh, you, you know, um, maybe had a little bit to do with it but he, uh, um, you know, he's told me a handful of times and he's told the coaches out at San Diego this uh -huh. too. He's like, the Final Four is in Detroit in 2027. And given where, you know, USD was last year, um, you know, a lot of people roll their eyes, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, Steve Lavin's coached 23 NBA players. Um, you know, USD went to go get a big name for a reason, and... Um, you know, I, I like I adore that guy. Yeah. Um, they have called, like they have done 
everything I've asked them to do. Um, I feel really good about my son going to play for them. Um, and, like, we can talk about what the next level is like. I mean, we never know, but he's going to go get a great education. But, you know, I'd say, like, make no mistake, like, he's going out to win. Um, and uh, that's maybe what I admire about that kid more than anything else. Well, you should be proud. I have to tell you, uh, we're going to talk to a few more guests, man. Uh, hey, you picked a real nice round of sections about to come to, huh? It's not too bad, right? Not too bad. No palm trees, but hey, everything else we got it going on. Hey, so Detroit's home. Detroit is home. Right? I mean, San Diego's beautiful. Yeah. You know, I love going out there. I mean, we can get you out there for a game, you know, right, and, no, you know, right, in the no. winter. But it's 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 just it's never home. And uh, um, one nice thing about him being here a senior year, yeah. um, you know, this place just matters. I get it. It does. Get and it. we have really really good players here. I just like uh, may, I think they're under recruited a little bit, uh -huh. but man, they play hard. They do. And, they, um, you go play Denby on a Tuesday night. Maybe they don't have the stars, but I'll tell you, they don't know who you are and they don't care. Who you are. And I know. Uh, and you know, and our biggest rival, you know, uh, like I hated seeing them beat us last year, but um, I'll tell you, uh, you know, Cast Tech and the job Steve does over there, uh, they are so physical and they play hard and they're going to reload every year. Um, and I'll say it the team that beats you want to stay championship. Team that beat us want to stay championship. Yep. We're, we're, and we left it all out there. We absolutely left it all out there. So kudos to those guys. And I'm, I'm like, I wish it was us, but I'm happy it was a PSL team because th those kids those kids work really hard and there are thousands and thousands of kids in the city of Detroit that do the same thing. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. What a great outro. Your music theme music came on, man. Give you something ready, else, man. right? Huh? I love it. Hey, I appreciate you. God well. Thank you, man. Be a yep. great I appreciate season it. And um, going beyond that. And the last, the, the stuff you do for our kids, Lindsay. I mean, this, yeah. like, like we have a lot of kids who, you know, sometimes they need someone to talk to. Uh, sometimes they need an advocate and without question you're always there um, uh, so you know when, when, when Madeline's in this spot you know like like you got a community that's ready to put their hands around her too uh, you have that. anything we can always do and I'm inspired by it. I appreciate that and I appreciate you with that being said guys Lindsay Ellison with SBS doing the big District 78 for Chaz Lewis National Letter of Intent signing he's headed to California baby West Coast but let's get this senior year done appreciate you brother alright brother alright peace Thank you.